How's everybody? Great. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Ready for a good race weekend? Who's been here before? Most everybody. Okay. Who's been to this building before? Most everybody. Okay. So this is the Chevrolet Experience Center. Um, we're really fortunate to be able to have this piece of property here at Daytona. When we, um, you've been outside to see the Chevrolet entrance, right? So we're one of the founding partners of the revitalization of Daytona. And as part of that, we were able to lock into this space here, which has been really useful for us. We've done, as you saw yesterday, right, media events here. Uh, we do a lot of things. We had the Boy Scouts here uh, during practice for the Roar. For some STEM activities. We've had, um, again, multiple uh, reveals with pace cars, lots of media events, and it's been really helpful. So it, what I'm saying is it's kind of an exclusive area, so we're glad to be able to get you guys in here. Sorry it's a little smaller, so we have to do it in waves, but welcome here. and cool view and uh, have a little fun today for a couple minutes. So my name is Todd Christensen. I work for the Chevy Motorsports team. Um, used to be the marketing manager for Corvette, so I've met, maybe met some of you guys back in the days. So you, everybody knows Harlan probably, right? Yeah. So Harlan's the product guy. I would have been the marketing guy. He and I were kind of the uh, two people leading uh, Corvette and we did Camaro as well. Got uh, Mitchell Bursling here from our accessories and performance parts team. And then somewhere around here is our guest, Kirk Benyon. Everybody knows Kirk, uh, the uh, exterior design manager uh, for Corvette. So the guy that has literally done the design work on all of our beloved cars. So we're going to hit you, each three of us, with a little bit of info and do some Q&A and just uh, be kind of casual today. So um, I thought I would start off with a little bit with a, a recap of this past year. So um, once again, for the calendar year, we came in first in sales in our segment, although our sales were down a little bit. That usually tends to happen as the car gets a little bit older, you know, sales drop a little bit, and when new, new things arise, it pops back up. But we're lucky to be a, a very um, comfortable lead in person, have been that for years, and thanks to all you guys making that happen. Um, I, was, I know Harlan shows us a lot too. It's always kind of interesting to us, and maybe you guys do, but these are production numbers. So as of January 2nd for the 19 model year, we've made just over 23,000 Corvettes. That's it. That's everybody. That's Canada. That's a few Mexico, um, whatever. But you can kind of see the totals there and see, you know, Grand Sport is nearing uh, Stingray in terms of total volume. That's really become kind of the sweet spot. I think a lot of people would agree with that. It's been interesting to see what Z06 and ZR1 have done now that ZR1's in the market, right? Z06 used to be more like 30% and now ZR1 kind of eats into it. So it's, for us as marketers, we look at this a lot, trying to figure out, all right, how are the packaging, how's the pricing, and how are the models fluctuating with one another? It helps us sort of figure out how we come to market and sell the cars to you guys. Um, it's also interesting too, remember when we launched the 7 3LT was like 65%. Everybody was buying high-end cars, and now it's kind of flip-flopped as people are gravitating up market to great sports and others. Can you guys hear me okay with the cars out there? I can get a mic if you need, just yell. Um, sometimes it's interesting to see, especially if you guys own cars, to see what your model options look like. So on Stingray, we're selling about 83% automatic transmissions. Um, I don't know what that says about you guys, but that keeps going up every year, so please help us say So do we. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's faster. And uh, it is faster, and I admit, to the automatic's pretty darn fun to drive, too. So. Um, I think it's interesting, too. We always have debates over wheels. You guys do as well. Uh, Chrome's been a perennial favorite for years, but boy, that thing keeps going down and down. So. Uh, black and silver are top of the heap, and uh, it's been kind of funny. Five years ago, it'd be exactly opposite of that. When you look at Grand Sport, um, again, about 81, 80, 81% on an automatic. It's interesting, you know, Z07 is, if you've got a Z07 Grand Sport, you've got a pretty low volume car. Not a lot of those out there, and even those that are just taking the carbon fiber brakes, pretty low volume. We found that most people that are interested in Z07 are moving up to Z06 price point wise and whatnot. Um, but same thing on the wheels, right? The black, look at 53% of Grand Sports have black wheels. So for those that don't like black wheels, I'm sorry, a lot of people, people <laughs> like them clean. Yeah, the good news is they don't have to clean as often. Brake dust doesn't show as well. That's actually why the race team does it too. 
Um, Z06, so a few more Z07s, and that's interesting. 14% with the Z07 track package is uh, probably the lowest it's been, and a lot of that probably has to do with ZR1 now being in market, right? The people who are buying track package Z06s might now be gravitating up to ZR1, so it's just interesting as you see things change when we change our volumes. And then ZR1, so we've made just under 2,000 cars so far, you know, since March, obviously, is when we started production. 70% of those are the track package with the big wing and, and the uh, cup tires and whatnot. A little lower on the automatic, so there's a few more manual transmission purists in our Z01 group. Um, the orange package, the ZLZ, is 34%. So interesting to kind of see what's going on there. Has anybody own a ZR1 in here? Oh, okay, just checking. Um, most of the ZR1, I think the ZR1 owners are interesting, right? They were getting a lot of people who either uh, haven't owned a Corvette in a while or it's their first one. We're getting some people who are kind of new to this and, and checking every box and, and we're now selling the most expensive Corvette we've ever sold. So it's kind of fun to be able to have bookends of affordable Stingrays all the way up to $150,000 supercars that really fulfills our portfolio. So that's how things have been shaken out. Um, colors are always interesting. White, surprisingly, still is top of the heat, right? Four or five years ago, you wouldn't have seen that. Red's usually been the perennial favorite, but white, white's been hot. And uh, even the red interior at 17% is pretty strong. So yeah, it's interesting to see how that works. Everybody's seeing their color on there. They have questions here. No blue interior? No blue interior. Comes and goes. Blue's a tough one where, um, and some of those colors are a little tough where you, you have some demand, but maybe not enough to run it for multiple years. So that's why you see some of those more expressive colors come in and out. Not enough demand for Admiral Blue anymore? Well, that's another one too. You know, our, our uh, color design studio really tries to look at future changes and try to keep up with trends. And so it's not that we're not seeing demand in Avril, it's more of trying to keep with the trends of the colors. So I know it gets a little painful for you guys when you fall in love with a color and then we pull it away, right? Well, we're trying to stay current, you know, after a while, once we find out it's no good anymore, it takes a little while to get something ramped up. So I'm trying to be more forward Um, we've had a good, uh, another good year of, of good news in the media. We made the 10 best cars again for Car and Driver. That's the third or fourth year in a row. So that's a pretty good company to make the 10 best there. So we're really proud of that. And uh, you know, these magazines aren't always you know super nice to anyone, right? They're very, um, uh, very tough critics. And so being able to make their list again is really um, honored to do that. Um, it's interesting to see what people do when they take our car against some of these more higher end Aston Martins and come away with a more positive review of our car versus something more expensive. So that makes all of us proud together. I know we're proud of, of what we do with the car. Um, ZR1's been basically the darling of the cover stories this year. So if you haven't seen it on the cover, you haven't been looking at magazines. So we've been very uh, thankful for this and it's really cool to have ZR1 be out there and wash over positively over the rest of Corvette, so it's been good stuff. Um, this is kind of a favorite of ours. This is kind of old when, when we did our first media drive. So you know when we launch a new car, we'll bring some journalists in, we'll take them to a racetrack, and we'll bring Taj and the, uh, the team out and basically immerse them in the car, let them drive it. That's how they start their stories. But most of you guys probably have heard of Randy Popes. He's kind of the hot shoe for car driver and others. And he's really good, he's very um, articulate in what he feels in a car. But for him to just go out on his own and personally uh, talk about what he felt in ZR1 and how impressed he was with it is really telling for us. You know, he's paid to, to go to Car and Driver and give them feedback to integrate into a story. He doesn't have to do this on his own, so that tells a lot for us, so we're proud of that. Uh, again, more, you know, best of the best with Rob Report, uh, Motor Authority, you know, the car to buy in 2019, pretty, pretty awesome. Um, and then Road Trek's Performance Car of the Year. So 
been a good year for Corvette. And again, you know, even though ZR1 is a fraction of the sales, this is good for all of Corvette. So I'm proud of that. Um, that's my story for now. I'm going to hand it over to Mitchell and uh, talk a little bit about what's going on. How's everyone doing? Good. 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 Chevrolet accessories. All of us. Excellent. Very good. So as you know, these are all designed by the same people who designed your Corvette. So go with all the look, all the flow, all the design cues of the Corvette. They're engineered by the same people who really test the vehicles through their life cycle, make sure they come to you guys and they're perfect. We test them, same engineering, just like I said, they get tested over and over and over again to ensure quality, fit and finish. And of course, they're all backed by a warranty. So that's probably the biggest part versus going to an aftermarket to get a part as the back part of the factory warranty. All right, so I'm just gonna go over some pretty pictures here to show you guys some of the things we offer. Um, so we have basically everything you could ever need for your Corvette as far as accessories. So this, uh, I like to call this the trunk tongue, because it flips out the back of the trunk. So when you unload and grocery your Corvette, you don't scratch your belt buckle on the back. We have a transparent uh, glass roof panel. We have awesome door sills and of course a wide range of spoilers to fit your vehicle as well if you like that performance look. We have the more uh, personalized options. We get the, uh, the awesome five piece luggage set. You get the duffel bag, two rollers, a backpack and a laptop or satchel which is very cool, very unique. Those won't get lost in the uh, luggage pickup at the airport. Uh, we have different uh, center console lid covers, all leather, nice uh, perforated and um, stitched. You get the Stinger logo, the Z06 logo, as well as the Grand Sport as well, and different colors to match your interior perfectly. Some more interesting bits we have. Um, so this is a really cool little plaque that goes on your uh, instrument panel at the bottom of the radio. We have different um, insignias on them for the Corvette race. You can get your VIN number on there. You can get the horsepower and torque ratings. So like different ways to personalize your vehicle. A bunch of different formats. And fit perfectly as well as match your interior's colors. I know a lot of people like to go to WeatherTech because they're kind of the go-to, but we're better than WeatherTech. Ours are exactly matched to your perfect colors. So they don't look off. The, the grays are the same shade, the black's the same shade, the the, uh, the Kalahari is the same shade as well, and we have them personalized with the Stingray logo. Um, this is probably my favorite, the awesome C7R car cover. So you put it on, it's a perfect match to the exact race car. When it's parked in your garage during the winter, you put it on there and it looks awesome. You got a, someone walking by your garage, you got the garage open. Is that a race car? Or what is that? So I think that's really cool. You have a bunch of different um, center caps as well that kind of fit your look. So if you got a Z51 package, there's specific Z51 center caps. You've got the Jake logo and of course different carbon fiber ones, black and gray to match your wheels and your style. And who here only owns a Corvette? That's what I thought. So, we have accessories to match your other vehicles as well. So everything from floor liners to pedal covers. We have cargo organizers for the rear, different wheels available. We got Camaro. There's a truck wheel for an SUV or a pickup, as well as the, the classic Corvette with the yellow stripe that people seem to love. And uh, we have uh, engine covers and different sport pedal covers as well for many different vehicles. Uh, moving on, we kind of have some specific Grand Sport accessories to really customize your Grand Sport, make it show up at shows, make it something you can be really proud of. So we have the Z06 style spoilers, of course, and the uh, underhood Grand Sport logo, the, the hood liner, as well as many other ones, but these are the ones I like to highlight. Uh, so we got some more here. Of course, the iconic fender stripes. We have the awesome Grand Sport silk plates, which you might have noticed on the Grand Sport style there as well. Trunk liners, Grand Sport floor mats, and of course different car covers as well. Now this is one of our favorite new parts in the cold air intake kit for the Corvette. It fits all the 6.2 liter engines from LT1 up to LT5, and there's a significant reduction in restrictions across the board. So on LT1, we're not allowed to claim a horsepower, but it's a 30 percent reduction. You got the LT4, the supercharged Z06, you get an extra 11 horsepower just from the intake alone. And with the LT5, you got zero one owners, but you guys aren't, but you might be one day. You get an extra 17 horsepower coming from just the intake, which is pretty fantastic. 
And of course, it's all warranty as well and keeps your, your factory warranty going unlike any other aftermarket brand would with a colder intake. Actually, this slide. So, one thing with this is we are actually out of stock. We sold so many of them. Uh, people actually really love these, but we will have more in stock in the summer, so keep an eye out for those. Another really popular one is this MR Ride Cal. Um, so this really gets your track-ready Corvette even more track-ready. So it's, it stiffens up the suspension and it keeps a different notable. So you still have your tour, your track, and your sport mode available, but each one just gets hardened and firmed up and make, make tire turns and keep your car planted longer. And it's just really great if you guys like to track it or we just want that sporty ride every day when you're driving around. Is that just a computer upgrade? Yes. So what you do is you take it to the dealership, and since the, uh, the MR shocks are all electronically controlled, they plug in their scanner and they can update a tune to it to make the shocks firmer, harder, and better for the track. And any driving situation you can think of, it just makes it better. Unless you really like that cushy look, or cushy feel, the, uh, this Cali people who really like, want to track their vehicle really like that hardened race car feel. And of course, maintains vehicle warranty. All right, so some new things we have for the Stingray. We have this accessory rocker kit. Um, so kind of, it widens out your lower rockers and gives that aerodynamic kind of look and feel the Z06 kind of has as well. Um, so you have the different colors. We have them in the carbon fiber, carbon flash, and we have them in primers. You can paint them whatever color you'd like or get them painted to match your vehicle. We have the, uh, the new visible carbon fiber spoilers before they were painted, but now they're actual carbon fiber. You can see the weave, which is a really cool look a lot of people like. And the price reflects that it is a real carbon fiber. <laughs> I know this might be a shock to some people, but real carbon fiber is expensive. All right, so now we're gonna bring up Kirk. He's gonna talk about the uh, designs, what's going on. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. What a great day. The weather is I've been here when it's a little colder, but this, this is like the best day possible for the horsepower. Um, within Corvette's Racing's legacy, we have these, these special cars. We just wanted to acknowledge and, and appreciate what Corvette Racing has done. Uh, with their drivers, you know, the same, having the same four drivers winning three championships in a row is just, that's just stellar. And uh, I can't tell you. We walk up and down these roads and we all have different races, but I'll tell you what, they are here to catch that record. So it's really a special time to have these drivers in, in these cars. I'll tell you that for sure. Uh, this, is a, this is a fun project for me in that, you're going to go the other way, sorry. And that was, I got to work with each, each one of the drivers, and then we would, we would talk and you know, share ideas as to how best we can represent them with these, with these packages. Uh, you'll see, we'll get started. I'll start with, I'll start with Ollie first. What's that? You want me to run it while you talk? I think I got it. Okay, just go back and forth, sorry. And then, so anyways, they're, they are based on RPO options, and we did that so that we can be fast to market. And then we want to be able to get these out there. Uh, I didn't want to get into, you know, because now it's such a special time, this is like the best time to really honor these guys. But, you can see that little image off to the right. Oliver has a special helmet. He's, he's carried this graphic for some time. It's kind of his signature graphic. It's a bright, almost marble, torch red, light color with a, with a very dark blue. And he has said we can do his paint scheme around this helmet. So there you see the selection. We're using a, our dark shadow gray with the torch red center stripe, hood vent, and a hash bar. So it makes for a stunning combination. I kind of kid him because I said, you know, the body side is very stealthy. But the hood, that, that, that front view, if you want someone to know that you're behind them, this is like the hood color you want, right? Because like, you're, you're right in their ears. And then for the interior, here again, pulling off the torch red, we match the adrenaline red uh, interior. And here, the interior options for you, and, and of course I want you to think of these cars as, these are starting points and you can personalize them. They're not fixed in a particular way, but you can go through, like if you want a 1LT, 2LT, 3LT, it's up to you to really select and make it special to yourself. And for Tommy Builder, you know, I, I can't, he's our, kind of our Captain America. You know, we, we look at some of the color schemes and uh, if you're familiar with the movies, you know, I like Captain America's uh, shield, for instance, which was your red, silver, 
uh, and Bloom and that. So we built his car kind of off of that inspiration in that. And of course, it, it embodies our American spirit. And we went with a simpler interior. You know, black is the most popular, and it seemed to be let the exterior have the three color stack up and then go with a simpler interior. You know, it still has the, the, the thread package that's part of that. Rian Magnuson, you know, we, we leveraged his flag colors in that. And, uh, getting a white car with the red stripes really was really a handsome combination, tied in really well with him. Uh, we went to intro the cars yesterday, we talked a little bit, we kidded about the Ron Fellows car, which had some of the similar colors except his was white and it just had the, the red hash marks. Well, interesting note, I'll tell you about the Ron Fellows car. Uh, Harlan and I had something to do with that. We entered that in 2007 at the Chicago Auto Show, and it was especially, you know, you know uh, Ron Phelps had just retired, and here again, we wanted to do something for him, and that that car ended up taking best in show for the Chicago Chicago Show, uh, which was a surprise, because, and we surprised some of our execs, because we were there with other GM cars that they wanted to take best in show, and so, yeah, you never want to estimate these uh, special editions for sure. And you're getting a simpler interior, and like I said, it's, it's something that you can you can leverage if you like. In that, uh, we we just kind of wanted to go with that. Tony's car was, was an interesting combination and in that this was the one where we could leverage his, his country's colors, but it's also the one that's the most like the real race car. And it, so his kind of plays two cards in that. Uh, with his, you know, there are things that you can do with these different cars. You know, his lends itself to where if you wanted to add like the carbon fiber roof with the body color sides, uh, if you wanted to put like the uh, the carbon, or I'm sorry, the carbon flash roof bow decal like you see on our, on our uh, special uh, orange orange package for ZR1. Those are two elements that you could add to this if you wanted to upgrade it, that would go very well. And here again, simpler interior. Uh, this is black black suede with the yellow stitch package. Uh, we do pretty well with the, the yellow, you know, the stitch package. That was a little like balance of accent, giving you a unique interior, high end without being too much, too much in your face kind of thing. Actually, this is the last slide. This is kind of what I was, was alluding to. This shows the optional carbon fiber roof panel. Um, and then what we've done, it's a little special here for this event, is that we're showing the cars with the Corvette Racing door decal. Now the way this is structured is that this is something that you can only get through the Corvette Museum and that, uh, you know, whether it's a donation or, well, that's who we're making it available through. And that, so it's, a, it's a kind of a low volume thing, but uh, we feel it does make the cars a little bit more special, ties them into the Corvette racing. And that we have, I think I have like, from yesterday, I think I still have like, uh, I counted them up, but I think I've got 16 sets left. Nice. And, uh, so yeah. Yeah. You're gonna set up a table and sell them at the We got our raffle ticket. <laughs> 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 well, I can well, probably put a couple in for raffle. Yeah, I think I've got, I think I've got like 12, uh, eight, eight, I'll take that back. I think I've got eight of the red, and I think I've got 12 of the black. Anyway, so there is available for you yeah, to get through the museum. Yeah. Cool. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, that's well. There's the important part, right? Yeah. Okay. Start ordering next week. So we made it very simple too, by the way. The I, I don't know if you caught. So each one of these four, the package pricing is the same. So it's 49.95 on a one or two LT, and it's 59.99 on a three LT. Same across all four. And then each one has their own RPO code. So it's pretty simple to order. And then, as Kirk said, you can add stuff from there. But Grand Sport Coupe only is the only restriction. And you could add the carbon fiber interior option if you want to do that. You know, yep. That's always a good choice. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is, uh, first of all, thanks, Kirk, for being here. This is, uh, I mean, you were really the the inventor of this idea. And it's, it's a really good one. It couldn't be more timely with the success we've had on the track and starting here at Rolex, and it all worked out really well for us. So it's fun, and I really want to thank you guys. I should have started with this, but 
obviously thank you guys for being Corvette fans and supporting of us, but more importantly, it, it's really rewarding when we have a bit of news that you guys show up in droves and support us. It just means a lot. So I, you know, it was so awesome to see a hundred and some people out there waiting to hear from us. So we appreciate any time we have news that we can always count on you. So thanks for that. And thanks for coming up here today. I think we have a couple of minutes for a couple of questions, right, you guys? Well, uh, Ron Fellows is limited to 399 um, cars, so are these limited? No. No? Theoretically, no. <laughs> we'll, we'll build as many as we can. I'm sure at some point we might run out, but we aren't strategically limiting to a certain number. Uh, the one thing that I think we, maybe you mentioned already, but they are individually numbered too. So what? each, so in the interior plaques, those are all zero one one for each of their series. And so as we make the succession, we couldn't do the VIN sequence, but they're all going to be individually numbered, so that's kind of a cool special thing. Any other questions? When are you going to start doing body color ground effects? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why the accessory, it's not the answer you're looking for, but that's why the accessory ground effects is offered in primer, so that you can, you can paint it or have the dealer paint it to match. It's, it's mm -hmm. tough for us to keep the, the volume of colors up with the volume of the yeah. specifically painted colors um, rocker, or sorry, ground effect kits. So. Yeah, just so we don't have to buy them from your competition. <laughs> I'll take note of that. <laughs> yeah, good feedback. We touched on that with the, the ZR1, you know, where you can get at least a body color accent with the, with the exposed carbon fiber, which is a mask and paint. You know, it's a premium option on that color. You know what my car looks like, Kurt? Yeah. Roseanne took all the pictures of it. Oh, yeah. Well, it's like you said, you just, you just, it's, it's, it's a little hard for us to do at times because you're, you're taking all those body colors times ten, and you're putting all those parts in the plant. And you know, the, the paint system in the plant right now is all, all new. Uh, the neat thing about the system is all state of the art, and then it's been ramping up. It's just something like you know, the, the volume is sensitive to that ramping up, but. The, the paint facility is like, I've gone through it, it's like state-of-the-art, it's like NASA developed this paint facility when you walk through it, so, so the paint quality is much better, but in doing so that means you can't, you can't take on, you know, body color. That's to say we will never do that, we're just kind of, we're in that development cycle where it's more important to get the quality of paint right, and then once that happens, then, yeah, then we can entertain body color suggestions. Yeah, I mean, it's good, that's part of the reason that we come here, right? We like to give you info, but we like to get it back, so good feedback there. And, you know, we, we do as, as much as we can to make these cars 100% customizable. We'll never get 100%, obviously, it's a mass-produced car, but we have way more build combinations than, quite frankly, our leadership would probably prefer, but we do it because you guys demand it. So we get as far as we can. I mean, no other, no other brand in General Motors has this level of color combos, and, you know, we can't get them all, so duly noted, and we'll see. Well, we, we have a great relationship with our Chevrolet dealer yeah. in Citrus County, Love Chevrolet. They give us great pricing and we try and buy as much stuff from them as possible. We don't want to have to go to RPI or ACS, but... Yep, yeah. understood. You can, I can tell you right now, we've got over a dozen of our cars in our club. All the rear lower balances are painted to match. Yeah. They, they, we, we don't like the black. Well, that's the beauty of you guys and your customization, right? Yeah, in some ways, I mean, Jeff's cars here, it's red, and it, I mean, it looks awesome. It looks finished. Right? Yep. Any other questions? Any more in the back? Uh, any idea when the plant tours will open up again? Uh, no, we haven't talked to the plant about that yet. Um, so, no, I don't have an update. Sorry. I don't. I don't know that, but my gut tells me probably not. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I want to thank you guys for coming out. Hopefully that was fun and we'll be around.